Oh, well, hello. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is a little unique. Um, I had the opportunity to start developing my, my follow-on career as a uh, playwright over the last uh, few days. We had two use of force events that had taken place in the Midwest last week, one in St. Louis, the other one in Detroit. And I decided to write about them. I was going to start off with uh, two households, both alike in dignity, in the fair Midwest where we lay our scene. And then I realized that might actually be plagiarizing, so I essentially decided that I would just write a narrative of what had happened in both of these, uh, both of these events. Both of which I'm actually fairly confident you probably are already aware of. The first one has been taking the internet by storm, and this involves the McCloskeys in St. Louis defending their home. Um, Mr. McCloskey with an AR-15, Ms. McCloskey with what appears to be a 380. Um, anyways, I kind of analyze that particular use of force event, um, not so much from the standpoint that they're trying to protect private property, uh, although they very well may be, in reality, trying to protect private property. Notwithstanding that, I do know that Mr. McCloskey is an attorney and has probably already been counseled that his justification for using force was to protect his life and the life of his uh, spouse. The other one is a little bit more problematic, and actually the Major and I had um, fairly extensive conversations about it. This is a, a use of force event that happened in a suburb outside of Detroit. Um, it starts off with two females um, arguing, and actually that's not an accurate statement. It stand, starts off with one woman arguing and yelling at another woman. Uh, the woman who's being yelled at is maintaining a high degree of calm. When she gets into her vehicle to try to leave the area, the original woman who was being didactic towards her runs behind the vehicle, slaps the rear window, and this escalates to the woman in the vehicle actually exiting the vehicle and drawing her firearm. Uh, both of these events require some discussion. So in any event, I, I really encourage you to read the blog. Um, if you have difficulty accessing it, if you go to our website, artemishq.com, the upper right hand corner you'll see blog if you click on that it'll take you to this first entry um anyways i want you to you know ideally read it um it's somewhat humorous so i hope you enjoy that um and again as always i want you to train constantly train consistently train repetitively and train with purpose above all else stay safe <laughs>